Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for the invitation. My presentation is simple. Call it architecture as art. Architecture is considered art for several reasons. First, like other forms of arts, architecture is a creative expression that reflects the vision and imagination of the architect. Buildings not only fulfill practical functions, but also transmit ideas, emotion, and concepts. Furthermore, architecture has a significant static dimension. Buildings are not only utilitarian structures, but also visual forms that can be appreciated statically. The selection of materials, the design of space, and the manipulation of lights are just some of the elements that the architect used to create visually striking works. Architecture can also be interpreted and experienced subjectively. Similar to other forms of art. People can have different emotional reactions and response to a building by handling the subjective nature of artistic appreciation. Architecture is considered art because it involves creativity, expression, aesthetic, and the ability to influence our experience and emotion in ways similar to other forms of artistic expression. There are various ways of considering art. Art become a focus of resistance in the illusion works and escape a way out. Art create and to understand that it creates resist. Just as philosophy create concepts science prospects and functions, are creative perceptions and effects, creation, escape, communication. The Luce proposed arts as a specific way of producing thought that affects the subjective realm. He was interested in the composition, assemblies and articulation that occur in this way of thinking. Philosophy for the lives is the discipline or activity that consists of creating concepts, creating always new concepts. The only condition is that it satisfies needs and that it presents a certain sameness which only happens when it responds to real problems. Philosophy is a theoretical thought and thought, while art is a sensual and imaginary. Philosophical thought reflects its matter in concepts, in categories. Art is characterized, on the other hand, by emotional and imaginary reflection and by the transformation of reality. In the lowest political conception, Power continues to function, at least in one of its dimensions, according to a repressive modality. The problem that Deleuze detects in Foucault thought directly concerns the category of resistance. The ultimate and implicit purpose of art can be none other than contributing to the full realization of man individually and collectively. And this realization will not be possible except to the extent that the best and noblest is enhanced, which helps to unfold the human potential that our soul still contains. As seen, the function of art can be summarized in satisfying the aesthetic needs of human beings 
θα του όρους, θα του προβάγεις τέτοιες πλούσους, spiritual enrichment and personal satisfaction from the artistic recreation of reality in its various forms of expression. Art can qualify by function depending on the will of the artist himself or the public's interpretation of the work. Imitate, economic, communicate, symbolic, aesthetic. Thank you very much for the invitation. Sorry for my English. Thank you so much.